Welcome back. I am Nick from Upmaking Gaming. This is the second video in a series on using Blender as a nonlinear editor. Um, and today I'm going to go over some of the very basic um, controls when editing. Uh, mainly I'm going to discuss cuts and scaling because those are two of the most common things. Um, and actually, in order to do it, I'm going to be editing the first video in the series, which I haven't done yet. So it's actually a little bit applicable and being productive. So to get started, um, you'll want to take your file browser that you set up in the first or during the first episode and navigate to where you have your assets. Now, something that I usually do um, is I create three directories. I have an assets directory. Um, in that directory, I have video, stills, and audio. Um, up at the same level as the asset directory, I have a blend directory, which is where I actually save the blend file, and I have a render directory. Now, these aren't going to be, I'm not actually going to be using these in this uh, video because they are, it's a, such a small project, but once you do get up to larger projects, um, it, it's very useful to have those. Unfortunately, I don't believe I can delete from within Blender. Um, no? All right. Well, I'll just, well, just go ahead. Now, to bring assets into your uh, video, uh, where'd I go? Okay. Make sure you're in thumbnails mode. I believe I mentioned that previously, or in the previous episode. And then simply drag your file down into here, uh, and it will add it. Now to preview, you'll press Alt-A, and it will play and show you the preview in here. Now I can hear myself talking, but I've muted Blender, so you guys won't hear me talking over myself. However, if I stumble a bit, that's probably why. Um, it's a little bit confusing to hear myself saying com two completely uh, dissimilar things. Anyway, something that I find a little bit helpful is to, uh, well, first of all, selecting in Blender is right-click. Um, there are some things like that that I'm almost positive I will mess up because I'm just not used to thinking about it anymore. Oh, another thing. Uh, make sure that your project uh, frame rate, where, wherever I put that, I don't remember, up here, no, here. Uh, matches that of your video, otherwise you'll have some very wonky things. These numbers at the end of your uh, strips, or your the titles for your strips, are the number of frames that item takes up. And so the blue strip here, the video component of this clip to 02, is 6,740 frames, whereas the audio takes 13,000 frames. Uh, that's because the frame rate does not match what it was recorded at. Um, it was recorded at 30 frames. A lot of my videos are done at 60. That's why there's a dissimilarity there. Anyway, back to what I was kind of originally saying. It can help when you're trying to line multiple things up, um, especially if you record audio separately to reduce noise or anything like that. Um, if you right click on a uh, audio strip, which is kind of this tealy, dark teal color, uh, come over here and click Draw Waveform. Now, if you're doing that on a video clip, or on, on the audio that is part of a video clip, it can take a little bit to uh, get it loaded. There was a slight delay there, um, and this is a very short clip. If you have a clip that is 30 minutes or 60 minutes or something long like that, it can take a long while to get set up. Now, I'd re I recorded these together with the same program, so they are lined up, but that's just in case. Now. I'm going to preview ahead a little bit. I'll actually unmute the audio in a moment so you can hear Blender. I'm going to preview ahead until where I start speaking, which actually, uh, I'm zooming in with, scroll, with the scroll wheel, by the way. Looks like it's right about here. Um, actually, yeah, I'm just going to do that. So to cut, select any strips that you want to cut. And you want to do what's called a soft cut most of the time. Now, I'm not positive what the difference between a hard cut and a soft cut is. Other than that, a soft cut will allow you to 
sort of undo your cut. If you cut too far in, you can drag the end of the clip over and it will bring back those parts that you cut out. If you do a hard cut, I believe it quite literally cuts there and you are unable to easily get those parts back without undoing. Um, so a soft cut is very simple to do. You'll just put your cursor where you want to cut and hit the K key. Now, I don't need these parts here, so I'm going to get rid of them with by pressing uh, the X key to delete and then clicking Erase Strips. Now, this will probably be at 1 for you. I program a lot, so I, th I find it easier to start at 0, but regardless, you'll want to set your uh, current frame, which is this number here, back to your start. Select these two and hold Shift S. That will snap whatever uh, you have selected to the current uh, cursor location. I'm not actually sure what the proper name for this is. The scrubber, that's it. Now, the rest of this, I, I did it in one shot. So I can come out to the end, find it somewhere, way out. All right, around here. Welcome back. I'm whoops. All right. One thing: if your scrubber is outside of your uh, range and you try and play, it will jump back to the beginning. So my current frame is six thousand five hundred seventy. I'm going to bump this up to seven thousand, so I have a little bit of extra room to play with. Bye bye. So that's where I ended the previous episode. Uh, or, well, if you've watched the previous episode, you'll know that I tried to end it there, and then I had a little. Appendix that I needed. Anyway, I don't need this part here. So I'm going to do the same thing. I have these two selected. Press K. Select this, this, X to delete, and that. Now, for the appendix that I needed, I recorded another segment. It was not in one take. So it's actually another file, this TUT03. I did take a couple takes up here, as you may be able to see before those did not go so well. We can just ignore this for now. Anyway, when you bring in another asset, unless you do something really weird, it will snap it to the current scrubber location. Now I'm going to draw the waveform for this one again. I'm going to come back here and make sure that AV Sync is enabled. If I don't enable AV Sync, it'll keep playing audio at regular speed. But if it's having trouble keeping up with video playback, which Blender does have a tendency to have an issue with, um, they will get desynchronized and it'll be, excuse me, it'll be very confused. So make sure that with this gray, black, dark gray bar here, you have AV sync enabled. Uh, I believe it defaults to no sync, but I've customized it a fair amount and saved that as kind of a default state. So anyway, bring your scrubber back um, and you want to make sure that you can find a, a good transition point. So Alt-A to preview. Gaming, bye-bye. All right, not quite adios. Now, I, I need to cut a couple seconds out here. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be a bit of an awkward uh, silence there. So I'm going to cut a little too far. By the way, to select multiple things, hold Shift. Probably should have mentioned that earlier. Um, anyway, I'm going to cut a little bit too early to demonstrate the soft cut, um, or what, what a soft cut allows you to do that a hard cut does not. So I'm cutting too far in with K and selecting these two and deleting them. And then because I cut too early, oops, deselect. Uh, to select everything or deselect everything, use the A key with no modifiers. Now, I want to select the ends of these. So right-click on that arrow, and then hold Shift, right-click on that arrow, and then press the G key to grab, and then that allows you to slide this part back past where you cut. That's what a soft cut allows you to do. Now, 
I want to grab these entire strips. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And then G key to grab them and move them back so that they butt up right against these two. Now let's try and preview this again. Gaming, bye bye. All right, not quite adios. That's good. Uh, there's a little bit of noise, but it's not terrible. Now for the end, again, this is where, this line here, where it goes from the lighter to the very muted grays, or the, the more contrasting to the very muted grays, is where the end of your playback is. So that is the 7,000th frame there. I'm going to scroll out to the end and preview. Welcome back. Oops, I did the same thing again. Drag this out. File view, save startup file. Um, thanks for watching. Adios. All right. So I need to end right around here. So yet again, another soft cut. K, select these two, delete, and erase. Now, this video isn't going to discuss making intros or outros or anything fancy like that. Um, those are way beyond what the series is at yet. So this isn't the final version of the first episode that you're seeing, but you're seeing a... Uh, a very close approximation. That's going to be about it for today, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.